The Nuggets finished with the 10th best record in the league, the 6th best record in the West, and the 11th best net rating last season. Despite the Nuggets being dismissed by the Warriors in 5 games in the first round of the playoffs this year, the future looks bright for the Mile High men. It looks like Jokic will be resigning and MPJ and Jamal Murray should both be back at some point next season. This was a team that had sneaky title potential before everyone got hurt, and now Jokic is even better than he was then. As the season showed, they're probably still a few pieces away from really having their roster nicely rounded out, and this pick should help them achieve that. So, who are they likely to select? Well, I've scoured the internet for mock drafts to gain information and selected 4 players I think have a chance to be selected by them, and I'm going to give you some info on them. Also, I'm cutting in here now to say that when I recorded this, they only had the 21st pick, and they had not yet made the trade with the Grizzlies for the 30th pick. So I won't be including any content on that pick, um, I just simply don't have the time to remake this video. Uh, so unfortunately, that's not concluding this video, but I think you're more interested in what happens to the 21st pick. Uh, so yeah, uh, without any further ado, darling, let's get into the video. Let's start with Jalen Williams out of Santa Clara. Williams has shot up draft boards after his impressive showing at the draft combine. I've always been high on him, and I'm pretty sure that despite the buzz around him now, he'll probably still get picked lower than I have him on my board. He's a wing with a massive wingspan that can handle the ball and shot it very well for Santa Clara last season. He's got a nice bag of tricks to get free from guys. He has a solid mid-range game, and his passing is a huge plus for his size and position. The defensive tape wasn't stellar, but it looks like he'll have the physical tools to be decent on that end. He was also a little hesitant to get all the way to the basket at times. Overall though, I think he has really good starter potential and could even be a sub or star caliber player in his peak, if everything comes together. He'll offer the Nuggets some shooting on the wing, another ball handler, and just another guy who can create shots for himself and others. Next, let's talk about Nikola Jovic from Mega. Now, a part of this is a joke, but I also think that regardless of his name, Jovic could be a nice addition to the Snuggers team. He's a tall playmaker with shooting potential and is very creative as a passer in transition. He's also got good instincts off the ball on the offensive end. He isn't the most athletic though and lacks that shiftiness or change of pace that you look for in high level ball handlers. His defense also wasn't great and that was combined with a lack of size and strength as well as intensity. His scoring game as a whole is also pretty underdeveloped. He is gonna need some work but the potential of being a pretty solid starter is there. Next, let's talk about Jaden Hardy out of the G League Ignite program. The Nuggets have a history of drafting highly talented high school prospects who had rough seasons between high school and the NBA. Michael Porter Jr. and Paul Ball are such examples. The next two guys I'm going to talk about could be the next on that list. Let's start with Hardy though. Hardy had a reputation as a sharpshooter coming out of high school, and that was called into question after his season with the G League Ignite team. He only shot 27% from 3, which isn't great, but as I've mentioned many times on the channel, the G League is where prospects efficiency goes to die. The shot will have to develop to warrant him being selected this high. He certainly has more to offer though. He developed a lot as a ball handler in his time in the G League, and his 15.5% assist rate showed that. I'm buying his potential as a pick and roll conductor. He's also a very versatile scorer of jumpers, hitting them out of the pick and roll in isolation and whipping out step back threes and mid range leaners. His handle also might be the best in this class in terms of his technique and the depth of his bag of tricks. His scoring in the paint is more of a concern though. 
Defensively, he struggles both on and off the ball, and his lack of athleticism could be a concern. The potential of adding another shooter to the roster who can handle the ball and create for himself should be enough to interest the Nuggets. The last guy I want to talk about is Patrick Baldwin Jr. out of Milwaukee. If he were to go here, it would be a shock to pretty much everyone. But I think the Nuggets might just be brave or crazy enough, depending on how you feel about Baldwin, to take him here. Baldwin had a rough season with Milwaukee, but all the tools that had him as a top prospect, but all the tools that had him as a top prospect are still there. He's really tall, showed good shooting form, and had a little juice as a shot creator. Now, he was woefully inefficient, and the shot creation potential might end up being just that, potential. The upside of him being a shooter who can get his shot off in a pinch, and who can get it and who can be a decent to maybe good off-ball defender could push the Nuggets to make this pick.